Well, hello friends, my name is Nick, and I know I've peppered this information around here and there, but I've never really made a formal announcement. So here's my formal announcement. I'm moving out of my home. Muffin is here, stretching it out. Sorry, I just don't feel like hooking up this microphone today because I'm literally about to leave right now to go pick up the keys for my new apartment, and I figured that would be a good time to do a little tour of my new space. So that's what this inaugural moving vlog series, I don't know, uh, video is going to be. So let's, let's, let's go on over and see what's up. I just got to the apartment. I am dripping in sweat. I should have brought some paper towels. I did not plan for that, but I just turned the air on. It's not quiet, but it's a lot quieter than the air at my old building. That sounded like a jet engine and was frustrating. Anyway, the apartment's really nice. It's honestly nicer than I remember it when I was touring. And it's bigger than I remember. We are close to the windows, so I will give you a... I'll turn the camera around. How about that? So there's this wall of windows here, which is nice. Just two windows. They go up like 12, 13 feet. They look bigger in person, lol, but they really do. But I just went to go open them, and I realized that um, you have to physically push the blinds up. So I'm going to either need to get a ladder or I think I'm gonna need to change out these blinds, which obviously I would also need a ladder to do, but I want these to be wide open most of the time. But if we walk over to the window, I can turn around so I can show you the rest of the space. It's pretty big. So this is the living room. The floors are pretty nice. There's this little indent here. I remember this being deeper. I wanted to make this like my desk area, but this would be a pretty shallow desk area, but I don't know. Maybe, eh, maybe we'll still do it. I don't know. I can't go to paint this. I'm going to go to the hardware store shortly to pick out some colors. I have a couple in mind. I'm between like a nice terracotta color or a sage green, but with the floors, I'm thinking that sage green might be a little bit of a better choice. So if we go into the kitchen, there's the skylight up here, which is nice. I'm thinking about having fun with that. Um, the kitchen's, you know, nothing really to write home about. It's pretty average in terms of kitchens I've had here in Philadelphia, but uh, that's better than plenty of the other kitchens I've had. There's this hallway to the front door, which is not very nice either, but I could paint this or something. It's probably the dingiest part of <laughs> the whole apartment. Hallway that goes down, the bedrooms down here. It's very open concept, if you can't tell, like the walls don't go up all the way anywhere except for the like water closet part of the bathroom this is like the hello this is like the laundry room part of the i didn't come in here yet <laughs> the laundry room part which is nice little tiny teeny teeny tiny bathroom in here i'm not going to turn on the light right now but i'm thinking about like doing this up with like peel and stick wallpaper or something i don't know i'm not obsessed with it and i want to be obsessed with it and then there's a huge walk-in closet and i love that it's like right off from the laundry instead of attached to my bedroom because that means that I can just like pop laundry right in here. So yeah, I'm really feeling that, but this is a lot of storage. Wow, this is more than I remember. A little shoe rack. Uh, I don't know, maybe this will be for my folded stuff. I can hang my shirts here. I can jam some boxes on the floor and stuff of other crap that I just don't really need anymore. And there's this indent right here, which is as deep as I thought the other one was, but yeah, I think I might paint this one too. There's one in my bedroom as well. I might paint that. I don't know. The options are endless. I'm really just trying to wrap my mind around all of this right now. These windowsills are huge, as you can see. There are like windows right out there, but I'm not really concerned about that. Yeah, this is pretty neat. It's fairly big. Open concept is the key term. But yeah. Really thrilled. I'm excited to move all my stuff here. I still have a week or so before I physically move here, but I started by bringing a couple of plants. So that's my next task, is to start getting these plants out of the bag. I don't really need to find them their spot yet, of course, because we're just gonna move 300 plus more plants over here, but I was able to get over like, I don't know, like 10 to 15 steps in these bags. So it's a start. It's been a couple of days since I started moving plants over here. I'm 
well underway packing at my other apartment. But I wanted to show you before I wrap up this video and move on to my whole plant packing fiasco that my friends and I painted this archway. I think it looks amazing. I chose a sage color. It looks so good. There's another one in my other hallway. Let me show you real quick. The lighting is not gonna be as great down here because there's really no natural light. But I painted this one sage green as well. It's right when you walk out of my bathroom. As you can see, I'm backing in there right now. And I was thinking I could maybe put one of my white trellises in front of here and maybe hang a light and I could turn this dark corner, the darkest corner in my apartment, into a lush plant display. And I'm also thinking about maybe using like a litter box enclosure so that my cat has her litter away because there's really no good way to place to put it. And then here in the bedroom, I have not painted this yet, but I believe I'm going to paint this archway as well as this wall right here. Half because I want to, half because I can tell that they did not repaint it and it looks kind of gross. So, uh, but yeah, I want to paint it now anyway. So half influenced by that, half by just wanting to paint it. I have a bunch of terracotta colors. I think I'm between this elegant orange and obviously these colors are not gonna be, you know, true on camera. Or like this patio stone's nice. I really wanna warm up the room, but I don't want it to be too vibrantly orange. Once again, color is not going to be true on camera than it is with my eyes right now, but it's just some kind of like rusty, terracotta-y, not quite orange, even though this is called elegant orange, but almost there. I use the sage to cool down my very, very warm, oh my God, I'm sorry. Uh, the living room is very, very warm feeling, but this bedroom with the gray carpet and white walls is feeling very cool. So I wanna play with that. I think this terracotta, uh, terracotta, oh my God, that's so hard to say. Terracotta color will pop. So that's a project for another day. Oh my gosh, my camera is not able to figure this out. But yeah, project for another day. But I think that'll really change the essence of this room. I might just wanna do it soon before I move all my furniture here. But I think now it's time for me to head back to the other apartment and pack up more plants. I have a lot of plants to pack up and I think that's going to be the next step on our journey together in these vlogs of me moving here. So thank you for joining me. I will see you guys in this next leg of our adventure, bringing over hundreds of plants to my apartment by hand. <laughs> How lovely. Well, I will see you then.